do we have here? This is the AC compressor. Okay. It's got a little rattle. Is that a bearing? Yeah. So a broken it's, bearing? And, yeah, and then this is the clutch, the magnetic clutch, and um, it was not engaging as well. So it was, something broke in the bearing inside, so uh -huh. usually on a, on a new AC compressor, it'll, and it'll what, engage. Engage what? Uh, the compressor to turn on. So like when you turn I your see. AC on, this engages and then it, it's, it spins all together. But this, with this spinning, it's just it's frozen inside. Okay, and then um, and then this was the um, and that caused a problem. Yeah. With uh, your AC not working. Uh huh. And also, it was really noisy. It was that was the rattling noise. Yes. And then this was another rattle. Uh huh. It was. You, you see that? What is that? This is your drive belt tensioner. Okay. So um, this how uh, this is how we're able to get the drive belt on. Um, and what does the drive belt do? Uh, it runs your AC compressor, your alternator, power steering, water pump. It runs like everything. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, this was bad. It was pretty noisy, and then it was loose. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of a good amount of play in that. Mm -hmm. So, and then just. Whenever we do AC compressors, we always replace the receiver dryer. It is the filter for the AC compressor. Okay. So um, this just helps the new compressor not get contaminated with um, metal shavings. And then there was a... Oh, and then this was the blower motor as well. The okay. blower motor. This is why the air wasn't blowing. I can't... It okay. just shorted internally. Mm. Yes. So okay. The motor was, just, the motor was just dead. Okay. Okay, and um, was there a problem with the belt, or is just uh, uh, needed to be changed? No, because... we we re wanted to replace the belt because um, just with how bad the situation, yeah, yeah, it could have just overextended the belt, and it just might not sit right. So there was a really nasty rattle near the end. That was this one. Really? That the nasty rattle was this. We took this off, and like this. And you see, like, it, it stops on its own, like, mm -hmm. suddenly. And it shouldn't. Um, no, it should just keep spinning, like, mm -hmm. for forever. Like, it just, it, it really finds, like, a, it finds a weak spot in it because it's, hmm. it's. Uh, okay, now the big question. If I did not fix this, what would have gone wrong? Um, your, probably your belt would have snapped eventually mm -hmm. and then put you on the side of the road. Okay. And then you would have had no alternator charging, no power steering, because the AC compressor would have eventually broken and seized, or this would have broken and seized as well, mm -hmm. completely. So I but, had um, a situation with my air conditioning mm -hmm. where I it would not work, and then I found out that if I drove my right front wheel into a pothole, mm -hmm. that the air would go back on. So, um, I did notice, um, the next thing you are going to need is an AC button. Uh, -huh. uh, the button, like you'll turn it on, but like I left it on right now, but like if you turn it off and then you go to turn it back on, it j it kind of flickers. Like you kind of have to like be soft with it. Oh. So that might be why. So if you hit a, uh, a pothole, the button might have jiggled a it might have been just that. and then that's probably what turned <laughs> I was wondering you know. if maybe going through all those potholes could have caused the situation here no not really oh good thank yeah, you no <laughs> no that'll mainly affect your suspension not not necessarily this we see we see AC compressor failures I had another one today it wasn't as bad as yours but it was starting it I let her know like it's gonna be pretty bad soon so she she'll be back um, okay but it, it's it happens. I mean, it's an original part. So. Mm. Cool. Yeah.